Hey everybody, welcome to the nightly vid. And this week we got slight change, no reversal on the spy, but what we're gonna see here is you've got two up red day going into Monday. So they started the week by countering. So they went two up, but the sellers are more aggressive. So the question is, do we become a two, two down, keeping us inside month and then trying to come back through previous range. And that's something we'll wanna know tomorrow. You do have an inside 60 tomorrow morning to try and do that. Cues inside day so we did have a lot of two ups today so inside day up in the queues would be one of the relatively strong sectors inside down would pivot machine gun these guys idbm inside day here a little bit weaker but still inside if this goes inside down it'd probably be the closest one to reversing last week's range and you got some pmg action to get after in here so we'd look to take out all these guys in one go and I have a nice red day tomorrow. And if you're looking to, like, how do we expect big days on specific days? We want clustered pivots. And we're going to have a good few examples of that today. So hopefully some good trading tomorrow. Dow Jones, three. So we need a three, two. Similarly to have the three, two in here and they get really going last week since you had a nice green week when that occurred. A three, two here, you'd have a nice red week when that's occurring, still an inside month. So like we were saying, XLP utilities, only things going up, that's defensive posturing still. So we're not out of the woods yet as far as that's concerned. And you got defense stocks, which is defensive, right? So funny, but uh, it's a three. So do we get out of that or not? And that being said, going into tomorrow, we got a lot more like two up and red type setups. than we do bullish continuity setups, although there is some. So we're going to cover the bearish ones first and let's get started. So CF, you'll have the shooter pivot machine gun day here. And what could that negate creator do? It could go outside week and that'd confirm this bright red two down month continuity. So later in the month, like 513, we want to trade stuff that's nice and red like this. If not, we need actionable signals. So the shooter day would confirm what the month's doing to go through week. And that's in the material sector. We'll have EA, RevStrat 22 on a Tuesday below 126.45. You do not have the continuity here, but what you do have is potentially get us outside of this three on the week if that works because the magnitude's down there so 126.45 gives you 124.92 and if we take a look ea don't believe they have earnings anytime soon yeah so they already had them good um ea i would go with like you know 127 puts for the weeklies if that's what you're gonna do to 126 at most but the spreads are not that good if you go into next month or not next month but 24th of may a little bit better spreads on like the 126s at buck 35. If we go into Etsy, Etsy would have a 322 with the potential 313 on the week, which is something we look for. So if this works here, 6184, we'd look for 5926 and take these guys out. And that'd be a 22 on a Tuesday. If we go to SPHR, not one I've traded before, but look at this volatility in here. So three, they tried to buy up, boom, countered by aggressive sellers. And then one, Buyers tried again and sellers came back again. And then once you get the two, that's the real move. So it's still an inside month, or at least, uh, yeah, from the looks of it, still inside. But we could break out of this little consolidation that we've got going on here and potentially get moving. Just that volatility is what I'm picking up on there. Expedia, EXPE. Uh, not my favorite, but you do have this bright, right, red month, the two, two day back into this previous three. So you got some range to go after and the EXPE weekly $12 puts are trading 93 cents. So if that works, they would go $2.20 in the money and have an intrinsic value of about double. If we go to McDonald's, this is something we'll pick up consumer discretionary. We're seeing some potential simultaneous breaks. So McDonald's will be a two, two on a Tuesday rev strat week after this big gain that occurred last week on the PMG day. What we'll also see with some two twos potentially is like things like Alta. You got this nice shooter in the consumer discretionaries, and that could give you another outside week. Still doji month though, so not much continuity. You just got decent range to come back through. Um, there's also going to be Crocs and Starbucks, which weren't quite as weak, but did open two up in red to start the week. And specifically in the consumer discretionary, we see home builders coming in and they're selling those to start the week. So Lennar, L-E-N, has the 2-2 for the potential three on the week. Still an inside month, so it's one of the relatively weak names. And then if we go to PHM, three. So that'd be a 3-2 to trigger inside week down. Still an inside month, 3-1 forming for next month. So we'd really prefer these setups if they're occurring like the last week of the month. Um, but we will see this at least to start the week. They're selling some of those. So L-E-N, P-H-M, uh, D-H-I, 
another one big three and then inside week down so you'll have good magnitude on that stuff and then kbh still holding up a little stronger they did break it inside down to start the week but no one you're taking last week's lows or anything like that and there might be one i'm missing in there but i'm not gonna waste the time trying to find it we'll see it on the simultaneous break list tomorrow if we see it uh outside of that though we'll keep going Expedia, we already did that. McDonald's, we already did. Disney, you'll have the inside day, which could trigger potentially the 3 2 on the week. You already have the month inside down in force, so this is a reconfirming signal of the month. So if we can get below this on the week, 104.21, then the monthly guys, they got to watch out because this is expanding and getting bigger quicker. So below 105.59, that would be a potential good swinger if we can get them to step up into the lows and get the sellers going. And then AVGO for the lotto guys. So it goes into exhaustion risk and then comes back in. Doesn't look like much here. But if we see AVGO go 2-2 on Tuesday, look at this week. So three weeks inside, it pokes up. Everyone's buying the breakout. And then below 130.11, you could PMG all the way through these guys. So I'd want to strike at the low of this three if I'm going to lotto that thing since the spreads are a little bit bigger. And what we can see is if we're looking at like the 1290 puts, they're trading 560 on the on the offer right now. So if it gets down there, they wouldn't be worth, they'd only be worth two bucks intrinsic. But if we can get the next part target, then those are going to be worth, you know, 15 a piece. And then if we can get the next one at the outside week, getting bigger, going into these guys, rest of the PMG, then like that's when it really gets crazy. So you could be looking at that. If you wanted to go a little closer, I'd say like the 1300 put because that'd be $12 down here. And it's currently trading 770. But you got a nice PMG there, so we'll keep that on the list. And another sector we specifically see for the sector-specific guys, industrials. Triple M, big shooter to start the week. So inside week, pokes up, and then maybe it gets countered on Tuesday. We'll see. DE in the industrials, big shooter to start the week after exhaustion risk at the highs and going three on the month. So when we say once a three, always a three, this is what we mean. If we go and look at the month... That's a three, right? And that tells us for certain this is broadening formation. And these three bars are outside of these five bars. Now on the daily, the two two here would get that going back through previous range, back into this three. So you want to target the low of that. And then we'd be back into the weekly three here, which gives us the low of that down into this stuff. So that's something we want to know about. We'll see. Uh, we're countering what we know to be true on the month. But once you go into exhaustion like this, the day and weekly guys, they can bring it back in perfectly fine. That's something we can do. And there's also going to be Delta DAL, uh, Delta with the shooter in the industrials. And there's also going to be HON with the shooter in the industrials. Uh, not quite from exhaustion, but from last month's highs and they came back in. So we'll see if that's going to come back in for us or not. And now to the upside. And this is one thing I missed. Run, 3-1 in the industrials, big volatility, and then big inside bar. That's something I want to know about. You can see in here, they're trading it very nicely. So there's algorithmic activity going on there. It is double inside month at this point. So we'll keep that in mind. But below this, potentially get some good expansion there in the industrials just to add that on. And uh, let me make sure, I'm looking at my industrial list, make sure we're not missing anything. I'm trying to keep the smaller names out of there. So I don't think we're going to be missing anything here. You could have SYM here daily 4181 to trigger the weekly 4128, maybe a potential three month. Um, and it doesn't look like we're missing too much. So that covers that. Sorry about that. Now let me get to the bullish setups. All right. So you're hard pressed to find any bullish setups this week, just so you know. Uh, really, the only thing I can see in here is communications, XLC, two down in green. And obviously, this one, they've just really liked it this month, but still inside. And that's going to be mostly Goog. So Google might get a 2-2 tomorrow, still mother bar on the week. So whenever you get a mother bar, that's going to start your new try. We want to get out of this three, 176.31, 152.77. So even if it goes outside, you're still, you know, three bucks away from taking that out. So maybe, maybe not. They've obviously liked this one. You know, they're just buying every single day. But uh, let me show you my sector list just to show you this. So notice a lot of two up in reds and then a lot of threes. And then there's 310IH in the energies, which we saw the XLE breakdown Monday, 2-2, two, two, still an inside week. We saw the XOP breakdown Monday, 3-2 down, inside week down. And I personally grabbed some MPC short from the weekend vid. But uh, OIH will have the inside and then crude oil. 
Also going to have an inside day right now, but closer to a 322 up, which would trigger the week. So we'll see still in the energies, it's a little bit lackluster, but we'll see the materials. You got this nice three to start the week. And if that three two's down, we got major issues, financials, nice three to start the week, same deal. Uh, if that three is two, two's down, major issues, because when you have these inside months green, the reason that's so important, and why we're showing you guys this here, all in all these nightly vids and saying like, hey, it's inside, you just don't know that. It's because when this week goes red and the day is going red, we don't know if those monthly guys are still here because they weren't strong enough to take out the highs. So they weren't that committed, right? They didn't actually reverse anything. So this is a very, very important concept to know about with the inside months is any change in daily and weekly continuity back through. That's something you want to know. So in the financials, three twos could be really bad. Yeah. Home builders. We already talked about the three twos and a lot closer to an outside week than most. The regional banks, three twos from exhaustion risk. So here's a weekly try like so. And you'll see they poke up, they poke down, they poke up. And then if we're going to get a nice rev strat one, three or one, two, two next month, it's going to start like that. So we'll just be aware. There's a lot of threes. So you got to stay out of those tomorrow. If you do, we get a really big puke. And then we have a lot of two twos. So real estates, potential two, two down. If they're going to come in tomorrow, the Utes even two up and then red. So we'll see if they get some triangle out in there. Uh, transports two up red. Uh, the white girl stocks ETF that we got in here with Alta, Lulu, Starbucks, Nike, Elf, two up red after some triangle out in here. So Nike today was inside, nothing to do there, but we'll know Alta for sure. Starbucks has it. Lulu, three. So a three, two tomorrow can keep that quarter going. And then Elf Beauty, closer to an inside week down, still inside month. So really not too much there yet, but. Uh, VNQ real estate, you already know that. Staples XLP, two up in red to start the week after coming into those pivot targets up here. And really just communications, two down in green. And then the rest, the healthcare is 2 2 reversal on Monday. Energy is 2 2 reversal on Monday. SMH, 2 2 on Monday, but did hold up a little bit with NVIDIA. So that could be another maybe upside setup, which is we're kind of scraping the barrel here. Hammer day inside week, inside month. So, eh, right? Jets had a little bit of action to start the week. Gold cap down 2 2 to start the week. Industrials 2 2 to start the week. So you can see the industrials weakness there. GDX 2 2 to start the week. JNUG 2 2 to start the week. And then XOP 3 2. So, so really, there's we're just scratching the bottom of the barrel for bullish setups. So, if whenever that's the case, normally we just you know shouldn't be bullish. So, going into Tomorrow, we're going to look for the two twos on a Tuesday, see if we can get it to us. And anything tomorrow, if we see like a three and they poke down and come back in, we go after that. We're looking for the other side of that three if that's the case. But uh, if that's not the case, we stay out of the three, then big problems. So that's going to be your nightly vid. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys bright and early tomorrow morning at Stat Trading. And for those of you that are not, we'll update you with the nightly vid tomorrow night to show what we did because we got a lot of setups going into tomorrow. So adios.